Hajime Mashite, my friends. The ancient philosopher Lao Tzu once said, the best man is like water. Water is good. It benefits all things and does not compete with them. It dwells in lowly places. Today in Kenshi, we're learning the way of the eternal Tao. So get ready, take out your notebooks, because you just might learn a ninja lesson. The way to tranquility is through self-mastery. The way to Squin is south. In Squin, there's a weapon salesman. In his stock are heavy weapons. On my back is a fragment axe. Welcome back to Kenshi. Today, we're getting our shit pushed in. Our character, Torsolo. A portmanteau of torso and solo. Get it? We'll train in the art of ninja discipline. And what better way to train this virtue than through goat fighting? To master goats is to master oneself. To master oneself is to be in the zen. To bleed from the head is dangerous. And may have lasting medical side effects. Including, but not limited to, embarrassment. While you fed your appetites in worldly pleasures, I toiled, and like a phoenix I rose out of the ashes. And in my weakness, I grew strong, and I became a warrior. I collected myself, literally, and rose from the ashes. And in my feeble state, I learned to trust the way of the eternal Tao. For the way of the eternal Tao is like a cup. It is bottomless, and it has no end. I am full, and I contain nations. But down the way to strength can lead to arrogance. The five colors cause one's eyes to be blind. The five tones cause one's ear to be deaf. And getting punched in the face five times might F up your day. But that won't stop me from taking all the stuff off your body and selling it at a bar nearby. Like a raccoon, I steal things. And like a turtle, I carry a lot on my back. Currently, I have 13 chunks of iron. No, but really, this is training Torcillo's strength, and soon he'll be able to knock people out with one hit from his heavy weapon. A future which I greatly anticipate. So in training myself in strength, I'm ridding myself of mind fluctuations. And in going south to the swamp, I'll be ridding the world of the Red Saber Leader. My first target in a quest for, well, a lot of things, mainly among them power. Though my ways are stooped in righteousness, my goals are ignoble. And Jesus, he's actually, uh, I mean, he's gonna get his shit pushed in for a while while he's still training heavy weapons, but he's gonna get really strong. And he has more attack slots, so he can hit a lot of enemies. And have I, have I lost this one already? Yeah, we're gonna take a lot of punches this time. And jeez, the dust bandits really have taken over this area. I'm running into, like, three groups of dust bandits at once. They should probably just kidnap me. Nonetheless, I'm content to learn the ways of the eternal Tao a bit longer and get knocked out by a bunch of unique individuals. They can't take what I've already lost, and I've lost everything, so I'm just gonna start repairing myself. Yeah, this playthrough has been rough to me. I've been trying to decide which weapon class I actually want this character to do. A lot of you guys had recommended using heavy weapons, and since I've never actually trained anyone, I think I'm gonna go through with it. We just need to get him dexterous enough so that he can do a couple swings at a time. That, and hopefully his blocking skill can rise. Until then, it's still a stat grind, but I think we're ready to take on maybe a couple of the bosses soon. Torsolo's limbs are pretty much maxed out here. He's got specialist KLR series limbs. I don't think anyone's really after his limbs, so there's no danger of losing them in combat. And, okay, that's normal. Walk through me and then stay stare at me while I sleep. Now, while I'm not one to belabor stats, we do have 42 strength, 71 tough- really, the 71 toughness is- is- is the decent one here. Strength could come a long way, especially with heavy weapons like we're using, but the melee attack and defense are coming along. Athletics couldn't be much better, and this character has, among all that, uh, some stealth skill. So I think it's time that we go confront greater dangers, and really just get our shit pushed in today by Stronger enemies. Stronger, more frequent bouts with uh, ass-kicking will eventually lead us to enlightenment. For in the midst of chaos, there's always opportunity. In the midst of the swamp, there is a town. And if we swim through the water with iron in our backpack, we hopefully won't drown. But if we stay in long enough, eventually we will. Swim faster. <laughs> and eventually we should come to the hideout. Deep in the swamp. Deep, deep in the swamp. If you should find a gate, hit it. If you're challenged to a battle, fight it. And this is actually one of Torcello's more legit. Ooh, you have more people there? Nah, we could win this. Should be easy for us. We're better at 1v1s, and I think we can beat this Shek warrior because he seems to be preoccupied with this gate. Great practice for Tor Solo, for I am a coward and I get all of my wisdom from fortune cookies. We can loot this guy and take all of his shit. Some of this actually isn't that bad. We could use his armor, which is far superior to mine, and his- Unfortunately, we can't use his boots, though, because I don't have feet. Come on, I think we're fighting the, uh, these are the red bandits, right? Ooh, no, we're fighting bugs, too. Those bugs are pretty deadly. Yeah, the red sabers. The red sabers are a real danger here, but it seems like there's a lot of factions we can face 
off against each other. And they've defeated this blood spider, and everyone's so distracted by the door that this actually seems like a fairly decent place to farm against these enemies. We might be able to take out their entire clan because they're so focused on an impossible door. And in this way, cheese the system. My god, the, the heavy weapons class really is strong. Uh, I don't want to get knocked out around these guys, but most enemies will just leave you in Kenshi. And they can't really chop off any more limbs, but we don't want to get too beat up. Yeah. Let's see if we can limit the number of enemies. That's better. Do a little first dating here, and run. And... Now there are ways to cheese heavy weapon combat because you have such great range. Like this, and run, and like this, and run in a second and get okay run yeah we gotta limit these numbers otherwise we're screwed you probably play them off of the water here too right me versus five red red sabers i don't know who wins that who wins that fight usually probably them let's try it out though see if we can get a lucky hit come on if you could just destroy all of their stomachs hit one but ooh, two down at once now that's what i'm talking about three enemies at once two enemies at once you gotta keep running though so that they all bunch up. And I gotta be keep running because it's always a 1v10 whenever I fight against anyone. Alright, it's time to go for good now. There's a lot of swamp villages around here we can run to. And I'm very weak and my body's still frail. There's a small village here to the north in the swamp. We can sleep in the beds and rec- uh, we can't- I lied then. Never wrong, I just lie. Actually for sale, 16,000 cats might not be a bad place to get. All in good time. For tonight, we sleep in shark. And this has been bothering me, I've been re-importing my save, but I actually can't seem to get the building menu to work so just a limitation of the mod i guess but yeah i need to pay for beds all the time they're not that expensive so it's not really a major problem true ninjas sleep with their eyes open time for round two at the swamped lab we're already level 21 on heavy weapons and rising i see a potential future in this for us the blood spiders here are half life -ian, and if i stay with them i'll be half eaten i did not know that these things were this strong they are really strong and i'm also running out a weakened character i'm carrying stone with me so that I get stronger in combat and just in general as I run. Our real goal should be to leave the hideout, red bandit in hand. So we'll put down our iron, stack it in an oddly perfect pile, and enter the hideout. Open sesame. Now if you fight one of them, you fight all of them. So for the red bandit, he's easily the strongest. He looks buff. And he's asleep in the back. The red saber, red saber boss. We need to deal with the infidels. Oh, and here he comes on his own. Let's see if we can lure him out. We will just bring him far away. Can I fight you alone? Good, come further from your home and all of the people who would defend you. I really just want your 10,000 cats bounty, and that seems far away enough to me. Good. No friends for you. We might be able to 1v1 him. We're actually fairly strong, but he's also quite strong. And it's just like a baseball. Yep, I think we can 1v1 this guy. He does look strong, but my limbs are robotic and zen. Wow, Torsolo's actually not even taking any hits? He's not taking a single hit. He might, uh, he might shut him out of this combat. He's wrenching in pain. Now the Red Saber boss is going to fall to my heavy weapon. Ooh, yeah, he does hit hard. Twice. Really, the main thing we're lacking in is strength, but that can be gotten by carrying around the Red Saber boss. So if we manage to slay his thick ass in combat, we will, uh, we'll get a lot stronger from that. And we did. His armor's decent, but not good enough. And he's not good enough either. But all of his items are worth probably as much as his bounty too, so we can pick him up, grab our stack of iron, and run away. While you sought booty, I trained myself in the way of the blade. Now I am coming for that booty. Swiggity swoogity. I can't believe that none of the red sabers actually defended this guy. We just got him. Like a one-off thing. He hardly even managed to hurt me, too. I can't believe I've never seen these things before. Look at their nose hands. This is one of the strangest sights to behold, but... One very befitting to catch you. Goodbye, nose elephant people. They're mushroom turtle men. And let's make sure that the red bandit, uh, or the red saber boss does not, uh, die. We actually don't want him to die, otherwise I don't think we can turn him in. Once again, to squin. I think I'll also just take his hat. I'm just going to wear his hat from now on. It's far better than my hat, and his armored rag skirt far better than mine. I'm practically wearing all his clothes now. Imagine his surprise when he wakes up. At this point, I might as well just take the full set and impress impersonate him. And we can use this all to acquire new heavy weapons. Newer and stronger heavy weapons. And let's see what we can get for him. 
from the Shack boss. Yeah, that should be 10,000 cats. Take this man. Now we'll go to the store and sell all his stuff. Shack retainer. Here I come. We'll sell all his stuff back. Or all of our old stuff. And then I'm selling my katana. I don't need it anymore. And I don't know what else to buy, so I'm just gonna go for the most expensive sword. This fragment axe will do. And now I should have the best one in the shop. I think this one's about twice as strong as my last one. That was almost stupidly easy to get the red bandit. Or red saber. Whatever he is. He's red. And the hub is red because I killed some of the residents. Um... That <laughs> was slightly morbid. Actually, I don't even know why I took some of this stuff. It's martial arts clothing, but... He should have been martial arts too, the red bandit later. A, a big reason I took it is just because it's more valuable, but I guess I should look at the stats more. Whatever, we'll try it out, and if it feels right, I'll just take it. The main thing is the fragment axe, which counts. Or I have another idea, and it starts at Dusk King Tower. But it starts with these slavers even before that. I wonder if we can actually fight these guys now. Now that we've taken out the red bandits, or the red saber. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need to f Ooh. Do we need to fight the ninjas for this? Let's take these guys out of town. We can always outrun them, so that shouldn't be a danger. We just might need to spam them a lot here, though. One hit, run. One hit. Eh, crap, come on. One hit, and- ooh, not a good idea. And you see, in attacking one of them and then running, we can always avoid damage. Fuck. Nope, that is wrong. Nope. Yeah, we might be screwed. Oh well, we need more strength here. What happens if I just take off all my clothes? Hmm, how does this work? He looks like a bionicle. And I think we have to run. Just not really my fight. Fortunately, they never seek revenge. Yeah, I think that these clothes actually make him a lot worse in combat. Although they give him some protection, I'm gonna sell them probably. But in the meantime, we can start to whittle away at the Dust King, go through the gate, and challenge him once more. Do we actually stand a, f a chance against these guys when it's night? Come on, at night. Fight him at night. I'm a little concerned about him with, uh, the blocking potential of some of these weapons, though. Let's see, can you at least get a hit in, Torso? It almost seemed like they would always get in hits with martial arts. I could see a lot of potential for this guy in mass combat, though. You could probably kill somebody in one blow when you get good. He's not taking damage in a 1v1. Good. 79. And they're slowly... <laughs> As long as they all just slowly come out to fight, we'll be- Oh, no, I know, why did I say that? Alright, goodbye. I got one of you. Don't forget about me. We'll just slowly attract them out of the compound, one by one. Oh, no, they're on the crossbows. Never mind, I'll come back later. And it's time to buy our new leg. No, when we actually have the money, which we don't. Never mind. Hmm, what are these here? Broken Model 30. These guys are- Oh shit, I've seen these guys before, they're really strong. We should probably get out of here. They're too strong for us now, in fact. Drop everything and run. And after all that grinding, I'm still not quite as strong as I want to be. So this means more ninja virtue, patience, discipline. I'll keep training strength until I can take out enemies in one blow. Ooh, sneak up on me, eh? I will defeat you now. Good. Wow, I actually beat a blocking enemy. That took a long time to do. It is kind of nice to see his progression in these subtle moves of combat. There we go. Now that we- oh. Yeah, he needs more blocking skill. He just really just needs the dodging skill. Dodging and defense. He's still not that good at it. You gotta de develop such good toughness before you can even get some of these other skills. Just so that you have a chance to even use them. Oh, we took off that guy's arm in one blow. Jeez, where did it even go? I think the other guy went into the iron deposit. I w personally, I would give up, though. I mean, if somebody cut off my arm, I would- I'd probably lose focus. Wow, okay, pretty one-sided battle. No pun intended. And more money. I can't believe that he's actually still, uh... Oh, his leg too, man. At least one less leg in the hands of evil. Yes, I did take your leg- Because you surprised me. I wasn't expecting you. All right, back to work. One less arm and one less leg and- uh, also a life for 6,300 seconds in the hands of evil. Uh, actually, he's just- yeah, he's gonna die. Oh, I can use him for good now by picking him up. I will slay the demons. If we can make him better at combat by holding people, he'll get way stronger now. Yeah, he's going up in stats way faster now. Alright, uh, just give me all his shit. No? Okay, well, if you wanted to fight that, be my guest. And time to make the sale! I like it how the barman is now- he's never giving up on his, his trade, you know, he's just- But look at him, he needs health care. Man, it would be so cool to play as the seven ninja swordsman. I'm getting flashbacks to Zabuza with this headband. Ah, another customer. Ooh, a lot of customers. Now we have a lot of stuff on our back, so... Uh, you know, I'll put down my backpack for a little while. My- my backpack. Okay, and let's see how this slaughter goes. Either I'm going to get slaughter, or it's going to be horrible for them. Yeah. Now we could run away and micromanage this fight, which we might have to do, but I think that the arc of his swing should uh, give us enough coverage of the enemy. Plus, these guys are pretty weak, and they might make for good targets. Nah, okay, we gotta run back. Attack all. He needs dexterity, he's just not hitting fast enough. 
Too much blocking. That's better. Yeah, but he doesn't get the full swing. Okay, we're running back to town. I need the ninja guard. This is very unwieldy, but once we do get good with them, hold on to your hat. Okay, guards, help me out. Shouldn't be a big fight. Should be pretty one-sided. We just need that dexterity. 41 right now, but it's going up. And Jesus, nice. Yeah, this is what we're looking for, ultimately. And we also want it to be one hit and they're done. Because he shouldn't have to hit people like five or six times. Ah, oh, this is perfect. A field of squirming enemies. Perfect. Perfection. Perfection. Ooh. Soon he'll be like One Punch Man. Ah, love this training. Now, if we wanted to raise our dexterity, we'd attack with lighter weapons. But we already have enough katana training that I don't think that'll be so necessary. Later in time, we'll work on it. But the main one here is strength. And hello? Dust Bandit Bowman. Okay. A bowman without a bow. I guess he's just a man then. He's not even a man, he's a shek. What is he? He died without knowing. Let me get back my backpack. Oh, here's my backpack. Oh, there we go. My backpack was getting away. There we go. Thank you, buddy. There goes an arm. Oh, no, my bad. A leg. There it goes. Oh, there go some goats. I'll take pity on you today. Now, we're almost at optimal encumbrance. We need that to train strength. And now we're ready for optimal strength training. Time to take some laps. We'll be slower, but we're gaining strength at a faster clip now. It's gonna be a lot of running, but it's gonna be worth it because we'll be hitting with way stronger hits on our uh, heavy weapon. And I'm hoping to get to about six by the time we're done. It's gonna be a lot of laps, but you gotta stay in safe zones, so actually we'll head back to the hub. We don't want to go out in the wilds too much. Gotta stay someplace where you can run for help. We're getting 43% strength and 33% athletics as we go. Athletics isn't really the concern here, so strength can just go on its own. I'm pretty much just gonna be running back and forth. Like, for a whole day. It's pretty boring, but you gotta do it if you want to get good with heavy weapons. Unlike in real life, you can do all of your strength training in a single day in Kenshi. Which is one reason why I love it. I'm literally just going to click back and forth throughout the hub for a day. This will be a snailish process, but by the end we should be super strong. We're at 47 to start, and it's about the end of the day. I'll let you know in 24 hours when I'm done. 12 hours gone by, and I'm halfway to strength level 50 from 49. I'm extremely bored, and I'm chewing gum for fun. To train my own Josh strength in real life. 14 hours for three levels. You might also notice that as I'm training, my strength XP actually goes down, and that's because as I'm getting stronger, it takes a load off of my character, or he gets better at bearing the load, and then he gets better at running, or he can, you know, reallocate that toward running fast, so. Our athletics gain rate is going up and our strength rate is going down as, you know, we need to find heavier stuff to carry eventually. And we're nearing the end of about 24 hours. We're about halfway or a third of the way to level 52 from 51 on strength. Uh, not really as productive as I thought it would be, so maybe I'll spend another 12 hours or so just getting to strength level 52. It's going to be a long time till our character gets really strong with this, but those later levels are the hardest to gain and I think you could do it just by wielding a strong weapon. After this, we could go out into the wild and search for enemies, running with stone, but also just getting ready for a fight. I think the real win here is going to be by getting more heavy weapons strength, or more heavy weapons levels. And we finally got level 52. I'm going to start taking laps around the hub to see if we can find enemies, because uh, I think that the heavy weapons is going to be the biggest payoff here. And generator cores, these are actually, I think, heavier than... Yeah, these are about twice as heavy as raw iron, so it's gonna be worth it to pick up one of these things. I'll sell the iron. Uh, I'd rather steal them, but generator cores are ultimately gonna get us stronger faster, so anything that increases the XP gain rate. Like training Roadrunner. Jesus, there go some goats. Only two defenseless goats. Mine. Right, let's see how he fares against the goats. He's going... It's goat on goat. Good, he can take them out in one hit now. Or two hits. That goat is- he's just a goat! That's all he is, he's a goat. And good. Your things shall be mine. Ah. A group of Garu passing. An opportunity. Go, I say. Fight them! Fight the- oh, yeah, animals aren't such a great, uh, not always such a great pick. No, back- you know, let's go back. They just really cut deep. Ooh, um, alright, you know what, just use it for toughness training. Damn it. Nah, it's fine, I'll just die. I deserve it anyway. You were right about me. Ooh! If I'm not carrying around it by- uh, okay. Never mind, just leave me. Leave me. My ego didn't handle that well. Nor did my backpack. Let's put my backpack over here, and I'll sleep right here. Good night, backpack. It's kind of morbid. It's like a stuffed animal with a dead guy. I think there's a, a worse name for that. I think it's murder. <laughs> Definitely, definitely murder. Oh well, it was just part of my ninja way. It's been almost two full days and we're now reaching strength level 54. Probably one of the longer traits to uh, train over time. 
Especially considering you don't really have that much dexterity when you do it. You hardly ever get an opportunity to swing your blade in combat, and when you're training strength, you're really encumbered too. It kind of makes everything harder. You need to be able to take a hit before you can deal a hit with your stats. I'm not giving up though. I need revenge. My ego's at stake here. So many animals, I've died to the hands of them. Fight me. And Kenny, uh, Kenny, Kenny must- Ooh, nice! He'll take a lot of hits from them, but at the same time, he's dealing out a lot now too. It's just that these wild animals have a lot of health. There goes one, and I bet he could win this. Might be able to, but they might take out his legs as well. That's two down. I think we can take out a pack of Garu now. That's progress. They're actually not that terrible. One of the stronger wild animals. Uh, you know, discounting the really strong stuff. He's not even hitting them at the best angle right here either. Good, and we've taken out the whole family. Nice. Great. We'll just- Ooh, not a great time for hungry bandits to come along. Dude, come on, no. That's like the definition of a scavenger. All right, face me if you dare. Eh, I think we're gonna lose this one. At least I'm gaining the strength though, you know? And he's gaining it a lot faster from each blow, it seems like. Yeah, there we go. Combat's ultimately gonna be one of the best ways to train this. I'm at negative seven on my right leg, but I still haven't fallen. I've fallen and I can't get up. He's starting to solo Hungry Bandits. Nice, good for you, Tor Solo. There we go. It won't be long now. It won't be long at all. And they left my backpack. All right, let's go chase them down. I know where they're going. Oh no, they're not going to the hub. Damn it. All right, whatever. They might get away with this. But that won't be the last of me. Walk as you dare. <laughs> all of their arms are broken. Okay, all right, we could F up their day now. Well, another day and I've spotted my next target. Come on, backpack. Let's go get them. It's just you and me against the world. And hungry bandits. We don't want violence. Are you the- No, they're not the ones from yesterday, but you're identical. I'm fighting you anyway. There we go. Okay, we are starting to solo them. Hits are giving us a lot more strength experience. And this is how we'll level up. I may have a crippled leg, but at least I can strike five of you at once. Here we go. He still might get his shit pushed. A couple more times, but there we go. He can get up and take out the whole group. Yes, he soloed a bandit group. Ah, perfect, perfect. This, there's no justice in the world. Now, where is their leader? There he is. Another group of hungry bandits. The best early game enemy, really. It must be the best. It must be the best. I think we could solo these guys. Maybe even with a guy on my back. You know, let's put down the guy, though, so that we can get the, uh... We need the heavy weapons training more than anything else. Ooh, yeah, he could solo him. He is not gonna get out of this without winning. Ah, uh, the legend of Tor Solo. Actually, how is he doing in combat? He's, uh, he's got down two, three, less than a third of his health off. I think he'll win, as long as they don't hit his right leg. That right leg is the weak point. We gotta replace it with a KLR. And is he... It's when he gets cornered that he gets into trouble. But I want to see if he can do combat without me micromanaging it. Good, we got like six or seven. I lost count. Again, go for it. And there. Now you could micromanage this and maybe it'd go better, but where's the fun in that? I just like to see it as a spectacle. All right, here we go. Yeah, that's going to be a close one, but that's kind of what I predicted here. Oh man, they can still block it. Ooh, close. But he'll get up and he'll be able to win. And he can also gain strength. Uh, uh, toughness experience like this. Great, that was a big boost towards 75. They're all gone limping. We can bandage up, go back there and fight them off. Yeah, they are all limping 100%. She ones should be easy. Well, I'm also limping, but not as much as- Ooh. Okay, let's keep getting up with enemies nearby. It's a great way to gain toughness. And close, but no cigar. He needs just a couple more hits. I'm not gonna go in with the chest. We're nearly soloing them. I think that's enough for now. We're almost where I want to be. It's really once he can, like, solo dust bandits and slavers that we'll be ready for the next challenge. Good. Got that one. And these two. That was a whole group. He can solo them. He just needs to take a break in the middle. Come on, backpack. Let's go home. For my next trick, I'll be going back to the Dust King. I still don't know if we're strong enough, but I at least want to use them for training. It's the only place where I know I can find NPCs who are gonna want to fight me. There's really just not that many wandering around. I wish that there were more hungry bandits. So let's put down the iron. I don't think I'm gonna be able to fight these encumbered on my perfect stack. Wow, it really goes high. And a generator core on top. Okay, let's try it out. Come out. Come out, fiend. Oh yeah, take out the ranged guys first. They are way too strong for us. And I still don't think we can solo it, but... I think we'll get a look good ways through and probably screw them up. Good, yeah, we're getting better hits in now. As long as he gets some decent wide arc swings. He needs like two or three more. Nah, that's not it. Nah, that's not gonna work. Okay, we gotta run. Wow, he's way less prepared than I thought. But maybe we could draw one out. And, uh, good, a couple of them are gonna pursue me. Is that the Dust King too? Nah, that's not the Dust King. Far from it. Okay, uh, good, I will F up your day. And you're one of the ranged guys too, so that's even better. We gotta get rid of all the ones with ranged weapons to stand a chance here. I still remember One Punch Man fared pretty poorly here, and he was way overtrained for this fight. Good, good. 
Let's steal his thing and train our dexterity. Good, have him come out one by one. This is a much fairer fight for me. He's blocking way better. He's getting blocks in. He just needs to hit multiple enemies at a time. Maybe they can line themselves up if they come in greater numbers. That's more like it. Those kinds of swings, those wide arcing swings are gonna lead us to bloodshed. Better, better. I think he can win this. Yeah. He can totally win it. Nudify these ones. Good. Or neuter them. And they don't actually pick up their own gear, so we'll just make them all nude. I like how their clothes just kind of float in the air when they're gone. Deep down, they're just like the rest of us, these dust bandits. Because for one thing, everyone in Kenshi wears the same underwear. And that's what we all have in common. Okay, Dust King, how strong are you now? Uh, you've got how many guys? One, two, three, f I guess four left. Probably if we leave him with just these few guys, they'll probably give up. Surrender. Good, now I'm just fighting nude people. And I got screwed up. That wasn't great, but hey, I'll survive. I've got a good KO point, so I don't have to fear death as much. Plus that trained my toughness. I love it. And Kenshi, as long as you don't die, even if you just get game over, you know, it's never the end. It may seem really grindy right now, but we will eventually hit a point in our training where, like, we can just run around the world and everything that we encounter will be able to fight. I think One Punch Man probably got to that point after about 100 days. It is definitely a long time, but once you hit it, it's kind of fun. And then it actually becomes boring. But there are certain enemies, like, you can't fight an entire city alone. Not unless if you're really good. Sell back their armor and weapons. Use it to buy meat. Once we've rested up, we'll go right back to the, uh, back to the tower. Get ready for round two. I am more powerful because I know how to put back on my clothes. Which kind of leads me to thinking, could I do it all through stealth? Back for round two. Yeah, he just stands out front. Well, he's not alone anymore. He does have boots. He does have boots. All right, round two begins. Now, the goal isn't really to fight off the Dust King yet. We just want to get rid of his uh, ranged allies. It still looks like he's got too many guys for me to fight at once. Combined arms are much stronger here. No pun intended. And also get him off of those walls. We don't want to get hit by these crossbowmen. So let's run back. We're getting a lot of green. Keep, keep running up to them and then running away. Draw them away from their lair. And he's actually worth quite a lot. I think he's worth 25,000. Good, this looks like a decent spot. To nice, yes, he can fight them here. He can hit multiple at once, and go- okay. I just keep going in at these rocks for him. Ooh, he downed him. He really isn't as strong as I thought he was, but this is a significantly advantageous spot. We have space to move around, and they don't. Nice. We got the Dust King. I can't believe that we won it this fast. Nice. Ah, oh, he's getting back up. Ah, oh, bitch ass. And it looks like we got lucky against him, too, taking out all that stomach right away. All that booty. He has some- Big ass thighs, Jesus. Good. <laughs> now he's worth a lot and all of his stuff is worth a lot too. I think I'll grab pretty much everything. His samurai leg plates are actually good for us. We'll try them out and see how they do in combat. And we'll grab all the rest of his stuff too to sell it. And then we'll grab him. Give me you. Heal myself up and we'll take him back to Squin. Let's just make sure that he doesn't die on the way. He's like, I'm, I am wanna go home. <laughs> I want to go home. He's always one of my favorite NPCs because he's just so humorously buff. Though he's, uh, he actually could die here. We will want to first aid him before we bring him back. Okay, I think he's fine. Pick him up. Dude, you're with me. And we're going back to Squin. Ah, justice. <sighs> the sweet smell. Yeah, 100 guardian. 25,000 cats are mine. Oh, 35,000. Wow. Even better than my wildest dreams had led me to believe. With this, I start life in new country. An open family business. Let's sell, uh, more or less all of his stuff. I'm content to go naked. And now for the real prize. While I love the stealth leg, I've been craving some sort of symmetry here. So, I'm taking off my pants, my samurai leggings, and I'm going to Black Desert City. There, I'll buy the one, the only, the right leg of Exodia. Oh yeah. And we'll also get a specialist scout left leg. That way we can run at full speed and then switch over to our other legs for combat. You can actually give yourself multiple legs and you can just keep switching out limbs in theory. And you could go really fast and just do this all the time. Just don't get your backpack stolen or you won't go at all anymore. I could now run at 44 miles per hour in two scout legs. And owing to this fact, now running- This is my one time speed, 44 miles an hour. Um, I can do something extra cool. Now several of you guys mentioned beak things. Beak things are some of the fastest enemies in the game. And when you can run as fast as I can, you can actually outrun them. So we're gonna start- kiting around beak things and face no consequences for it whatsoever. I may not be strong, but I'm very, very fast. And just for reference, how fast does he run with KLR series legs? So he runs 44 miles per hour with scout legs 
and 25 miles per hour with KLR legs. KLR legs are better for combat, but for the other time being, we can use these scout legs. Now let's go abuse the hivers for a while. God, the difference is night and day. I, I cannot believe this. I've never had anyone this fast, and he's still not at his peak speed yet. He could probably end up running 50 miles an hour. Jesus Christ. It's, it can't even load this fast. That is bananas. No one, who does that? Who does that? How is this real? How is this real? It's almost unplayable with a character this fast. Look at that. <laughs> it's bananas. All right, let's go find some beak things. Okay, just go around and around. Maybe in there? That looks like a likely beak thing nest. Ooh, another high village. Let's just take it out to the coast. I've never even been here before. I'm not afraid of anything at Roadrunner speed, though. High village, bad people. Could join me in the fight. I don't even need a bed anymore. I could just start running. Like, switch to light speed. I'm like the Millennium Falcon. Christ's sake. Jesus. We've made it to the coast. I know that dangerous stuff is on the coast, but I'm pretty sure I'm faster than it is dangerous. And what is this? A nest of something? Ah, oh, there they are. The beak things. Okay. So here is their nest. Where are the eggs? Oh. Oh my gosh. That's a lot of eggs. I never realized there are so many eggs around. Okay, come with me. All right, uh, ooh, two nests. And I should be faster than them all now? They, ooh, it's like a horse race. There they go. And we gotta be careful here. Don't get hit at all. Uh, how fast are we? F still 44 miles an hour. Okay, there's a baby one guarding the nest. Uh, let's just draw them out. Bring them all in on me. Okay, come on. Come, come. Oh, shit. Come hither, come hither. Good. I feel like a sheepdog, but for giraffes. But be careful. Be careful. <laughs> they still are really fast. It's, it's not a big speed differential, but it's enough. But that could F up my day. <laughs> okay, you know what? I have a new idea. We're going to take the beak things to the village. We just need to kite them a lot. Now, where is the nearest hiver village? Well, this way and come good come with me now good everyone come along actually here they come and didn't do it didn't do it didn't do it didn't do it come on just one guarding get rid of him and run okay run run away towards solo just barely made it out and oh come on they keep leaving a baby one there guarding the eggs that's like that kid who would never get off the base when you're playing tag as a kid you know like just dude g get a life or something it would make me so angry okay i think we got all of them off of the nest let's just run back super fast here okay now one time speed grab that egg we can, oh my god it's huge just screw this <laughs> screw the armor i don't even need the armor it's not that valuable okay the beak thing eggs there's another one. Oh shit we got hit we got hit, we got hit. Run, run, and bathing in acid. Bathing in acid is not so much fun. Okay, fuck. Why did I do this? 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 I guess you could do it with swimming as well. Just not quite the same. All right, you know what? Give me one big thing, egg. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. Go to the Hyper Village. Run. Escape with your life, baby. Oh, I got, I got three. When did I get- <laughs> Fortune has smiled down upon me on this day. That was not a good spot for a hive thing. Ooh, Jesus. Why would you run in the water, man? Oh, well, we made it to the village anyway. Repair, repair, heal. Oh, they came with me anyway. Oh shit. Oh good, that's what I wanted. I'm going inside. I'm very tired of all this. Mm, I need a store. Mm, all right, will you buy my uh, big thing eggs? I just sicked one against your village. Good, and now we just made 12,000. Perfect. So many hive villages. Now that was kind of far away. I'd like to continue the search for great beak thing nests. It's also just a terrible spot to have it right on the coast, so there's gotta be better positioning. And I'm pretty sure we could get a lot of different limbs for different situations. Be like a master of disguise. Oh, and I just totally realized that I don't even have, we could still get even faster. I realized that it's masterwork and specialist legs. I could go for all masterwork. I didn't even see that. I mean, damn, we're still, we're still pretty good good as we are but yeah there is still room for growth wow that is bananas we're still not even at our power peak yet in terms of limage you know and you can also use one bed rental to get all of your legs healed up too now that i think of it so yeah we fixed up all of our legs all of my legs i used to not have any legs now i have four let's go back to the high uh, nest so we could grab the last of the eggs oh another one right there Wow, they crop up suddenly and then disappear. There it is, the beak thing nest. They sleep. I wonder if I could sneak in. Let's try. I will regret this, I bet. Um, what happened to them? All right, uh, let's just grab the eggs. This could go poorly. Oh, yeah, they're, they're awake. Don't sneak. Run. Now, they are good swimmers. Let's keep that in mind as we run about. Let's also lure them back to this village, as some of you suggested, and cause confusion lots of confusion definitely oh no don't give up don't ever give up on love i may be smaller than you but i'm also faster than you good okay i'll just drop them off here and go back over there okay there we go they're taking out the hivers i'll lure back the others or they're at least dealing with the problem for me unfortunately they slow down in the river here we go let's just lure in the last few <laughs> 
Oh, there's like 10 or 15. That's... I've never seen this many before. This would be really dangerous if you were alone. I am alone, but you know what I mean. Okay, here we go. Come on, Hivers. Uh, I hope you're alive for a little while. And then I'll run out the back door. <laughs> Wouldn't they realize that I'm hostile? Uh, okay, good. They're still... No, I don't want them coming after me. I'll just go in the house where they can't fit. Would you call it a house? Okay, let's see who wins. Um, I certainly don't want to leave. Uh, I think the beak things will win though. So I'm just gonna jump ship while it's still safe and run and go back to their nest. The goal isn't the mayhem, the goal is stealing. I told you there would be a lot of stealing in this playthrough, didn't I? Look at how many eggs there are too. There's one, there's another, there's another. Isn't there like an evil scientist in Jurassic Park who does this? Like exactly what I'm doing right now? And he represents all of like the global warming in the world and- Yeah, that's me. Wow. One more. That's a nice haul. Run back. God, he is just that fast. That's kind of a cool shot. Watch him go, watch him go. He's got four giant bird eggs. Buy my stuff. I think I'll make about 16,000 from that. Now we have 37K. Jesus, I think one more trip wouldn't hurt. Probably another four eggs there. There's another, there's another hive or another nest. There's so many of these nests. That was this beak. Yeah, this is definitely beak things. Right there, just south of here. And wow, they're really spread out here. Look at them all. Liquid gold. That's like free money. Go, go and go and run. Run, you are pretty strong though. We can still grab one more. Run back and then fourth and here we go. There's one. You gotta spot them before they don't really stick out. Good, got it, and get out of there. The funny part is that after all of that, they will cause problems for other people, you know? <laughs> and falsely accuse them of stealing their eggs. They're just creatures of pure hate. Sell, sell, sell. And now we have 53,000 cats. I'm getting all masterwork, I, I don't care. These legs are overpowered. Who would ever thought that the most useless skill, I mean, it's useful for early game running, would be so lucrative. I can't believe it. I've never been able to make so much money so quickly in this game. He is so goddamn fast. I can't believe this. I never thought I would totally reinvent an entire character. I'm, I'm going at normal speed right now. I thought this was fast motion. That's how fast he is. I think he gets more, he gets more buff as he gets the uh, athletic straight too. He's getting in better shape as well. Jesus though, Jesus. One times speed, two times speed three times speed. It just goes to show AI will eventually replace us all and take our jobs. No human can do that. Look, look at that. He even changed his mind halfway up the mountain. I'm sorry, who was that chasing me a second ago? Ah, uh, never mind. We have better ways of making money now. Now full masterwork limbs. We can sell our specialist one, buy the masterwork, and buy a masterwork scout specialist leg. Or, that didn't make any sense. Masterwork scout leg. Get on the ground. Oh, okay, they're removing me from the store. They're like, he's too good. Get him out of here. I'm burning. I'm burning like Anakin. Put that on. What is the total speed? 46 miles an hour. Yeah, we could probably top out at 50. 50 miles an hour. That's bananas. And they don't actually have a KLR masterwork right arm in stock. But I don't think we'll be doing combat again for a while until we get rich. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a few laps to run between here and the hub. I'm going to max out my athletic skill and then use that to get 100,000 cats. At that point, we'll be able to get all the best equipment in the game and make ourselves into pretty much the ultimate fighter. So many steps to getting here, but we're pretty much ready to create the world's most powerful, versatile character. I just wish that we could get him a robot chest. Ultimately, that's why skeletons are the only true chads of this game. Well, I hope you enjoyed this slideshow presentation because I can't enjoy playing the game anymore. This is a true speed of how quickly I load in. I'm pretty sad. I don't want to be this fast anymore. I just want my game to load. And I think we'll call it there for a day. I'll give you one last look at stats because I think that the stats grind is one of the more satisfying parts of this game. I've come a long way. Thanks in particular to Greg for this comment on beak things. I know a lot of you guys mentioned it, but it was the one that I found when I searched beak and nest in the comments. So if you have any other ways to cheese the game that are really, I don't know, meme -y. that's pretty meme -y. That's pretty much the reason why I'm playing Kenshi anyway. Just find ways to exploit and break the game for fun. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got some ninja wisdom out of this. And I hope you enjoyed. As always, my name's Ambiguous Amphibian, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.